So here we are, another video. As you've seen, uh, I'm testing out a new toy for the channel, which means I can record these screen things. And you've probably realised when you're watching our channel, as I'm now looking at the camera, that I'm not the most tech savvy when it comes to these videos. But for me, it's all about the information, so who cares? Okay, this is a good one. This is a, a personal experience I thought would be good to get out there on the channel. And I'm about to pay a traffic fine. So uh, you can see here, that I have re received, here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna do arrows and all sorts here, look at this, ooh. This is a traffic fine that I received and let me just explain a little bit more about it. So, uh, unfortunately I got caught speeding, it's very irresponsible to speed, you shouldn't speed and you should always pay attention to the road signs. I personally think this was a speed trap, but never mind. So, we can see here, fecha y hora de la infracción. That is the date and time of the offence. We have here the date, obviously, and the time there. Okay, so you can see, uh, you can see here, speeding fine, velocidad. You can see that they've opened a file number, expediente, meaning file. Okay, the DGT, or the authorising body for the file, uh, for the fine, sorry. Here you can see the real fine, you can see what we're about to pay now because we're going to pay it within the 30 days. Um, you can see my registration and the, and the car that I've got. So, And here we go, this is very important. This is the place which I was fined, which was the A7, uh, kilometre 936.2. This means 936.2, I think I was caught by a helicopter, which I'm going to show you now. So you have to be careful, it's not just the cameras. Uh, who are looking out uh, for people who are uh, caught in those speed traps which go from 120 to 100 without you realising. Um, and that's it. This look says here, there's no points. Thank you very much. I'm glad there's no points because I actually have the max maximum of 15 points uh, on my licence. Remember that in Spain you get um, uh, points given to you and then take it away. You don't if you're if you get caught speeding. If you have a um, an infraction, then you will get points taken away and you lose your license at zero points. Here you start with I believe twelve and get three extra for being good and old, <laughs> something like that. Um, I think uh, if you're younger, you start with less points. Uh, if you do a license exchange, you start with less points. But then as you as you get 10 years down the line, they give you more points or something like that. I'm not actually too sure, but I do know that I've got the 15 points. Uh, so uh, what can we look at here? Let's, let's have a look at the... Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. Right, so I'm going to look at the fine. There, the reason I believe that this was a helicopter is because you can see here... And I don't know how to get rid of this thing here. You're not supposed to see that, but who cares? Uh, there we go. That I'm on the wrong side of the road. There, I'm in and out of the uh, the lane, and I so I believe that um, it was a helicopter because they took the average speed. Apparently, I was doing 110 in a hundred kilometer area. Very responsible. Shouldn't do it. These are the places that you can pay. Okay, so we've got information here about where you can pay. Um, you've got uh, information. So this is how you are. So. This information here is if you weren't driving the vehicle, you can essentially, there you go, send in the name of the driver. Now, I believe this was me, not my wife, so I'm not going to uh, stitch her up for this one. Though, I have to be honest, she has stitched me up for her fines in the past. Um, and here we have information on how to pay. Okay, so there's quite a few ways you can pay. You can pay either using the website, which is what we're going to do now. You can pay phoning 060, but you would need Spanish. I believe they do have attention in English, but I've never known anybody be able to pay a fine on it. And I'm going to show you now, it's very easy to pay online, so it's not a problem. You can go to the Casia Bank, you can go to the post office, or you can actually go and pay it at the DGT with a credit card as well. So there we go. And we're going to move down here, and this is various other things because they like to send you. What is this here? I don't know what that is. I know it's part of the fine, or the technical details of the fine. So yeah, it looks like I was caught by the Pegasus helicopter, which uh, incidentally this week a Pegasus helicopter in Madrid was caught, uh, was cra well, crashed, sorry, and uh, the guy was caught uh, with drugs in his system. So there you go. I bet he didn't just get a little letter like this. I bet he, uh, 
you got in big trouble. So anyway, here we go. How do you pay your fine online without a digital certificate? And I am going to get my credit card ready now. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to get the credit card ready. So the first thing you need to do is put this into your browser. Pagar multa de gente. This will bring you straight to the DGT pay the fine. If you'd like to do a bit of Spanglish. Okay. Pagar de multas de gente. Pay the fine. We go here. And now it gives us various options on how to pay the fine. Okay. So you, the, if you haven't got a digital certificate, which is the case of some people who might have received these fines. Uh, incidentally, I once received a fine from my father who hired a car. The fine went all the way to him in the UK. And he just sent me a scan and said, oh, what do I do? They said, don't worry, I can jump on this system and uh, I can pay it for you. No problems at all. In that incident, we were driving. He was following me. I didn't get fined. He did for going around seven kilometers over the speed limit. Um, so there we go. Here we go. So fine payment. As you can see, this has automatically come up in English. You do have at the top here, let's use these funky arrows, the options to change the language, you see. So very, very, very easy. There we go. And what we're going to do here, first of all, identification type. Well, the type we're using is an NIE. So we're going to put my NIE number there. Oh, look, it's, um, it's already pre-recorded from a <coughs> previous fine. So there we go. Uh, NIE number in there. And we have also the name. So we're going to put my name in. Christopher. Now this is going to make you laugh. Now you all know on the internet world my middle name. Yay, Thomas. It's actually my grandfather's first name. Uh, Goodacre. We've got no additional surnames. And we're going to put the email address in there. Chris at upsticks.es. There we go. Now the document number. There we go. It's giving me the option of my credit cards. Isn't it? The document number you can find here. So we're going to put in... The document number, which is the expediente number here, I believe. Go back. Yes, it is the expediente number. So don't get confused. Where is, let's just get the arrow on it for you. There we go. This is the document number. Numero de expediente. Okay, numero de expediente. Expediente is something you're going to learn when you come to Spain. It's a file opening Every time you do something in Spain with an authority, they open an expedient. When you are doing an NLV or a residency, you will always have an expedient number, which stays with you. Okay, so we're going to go back to the website and we're going to put our document number in, which is 29. Um, where are we? Two nine zero four seven zero four seven, I should say. Two nine nine one eight nine zero. There we go. Amount without discount one hundred euros. Notification date. So the notification date. Let's go back and explain where you see that. The notification date is. Where's the notification date, Chris? It is. It is, it is. I know where the notification bay is. No wonder I can't see it. It's because it's down here. There we go. So we're going to go down. And if you look right at the end of the letter, your notification date is... Now, you think I would have planned this, wouldn't you? There we go. Sorry. I was notified... on the 27th of February 2023 that's the date that needs to go in there okay there we go so we're going to go back to our little fine page 27th of February 2023 okay so we've got all our details in press continue there we go it's loading my discount uh, read the terms and conditions uh, going to speed read this Wow, there we go, yeah, I agree. Okay, then we go back. Yep, we've read the terms and conditions. Click in the box and continue. So we're going to pay. We're going to put our card number in. 
And believe it or not, we're not using any of those ones. And the expiry date. Evidently, I've got this block so you can't see mine. And the most important thing is the three digits on the back, which allow you to verify the payment and pay. There we go. Our request has been registered. So you can download the receipt. When you download the receipt, it will say justificante pago. There we go. I suggest you keep that in PDF and print it out just in case you never you get any sort of pull in the future for that file number. So remember, it all relates back to that file, the expediente number. Okay, so keep that. That's the proof that you've paid. You can also have that proof emailed to you. Although it does come through to you automatically, why not just e check and email it again? There we go. Send an alternative email address. So sorry, I'm giving it this. That's going to send this to uh, Lara, my wife. <laughs> okay, so she knows I'm paying my fines. So she'll receive a notification of the fine. I've got the PDF download. It's all paid and going to take more care in the future not to get speeding fines so there you go if you do receive a speeding fine in spain that's how to pay it online without a digital certificate a little bit more information from us out there in the world remember the upsticks here we help people get residency in spain we offer services uh, for re retirees, third country nationals retirees, for example, Brits coming to live in Spain uh, on a non-lucrative visa, um, we, that's our biggest service at the moment, it's the non-lucrative visa and we're helping, we've helped hundreds of Brits come over and so far this year we're nearly up to, oh I think nearly 100 already I think, we're getting there anyway. Uh, we also offer uh, services to help EU citizens register here, mainly in the Malaga area where we have uh, agents on the ground or San Granada and Maria and other parts of Spain as well. We help people register vehicles, all sorts of stuff. Please check out our website and if you like the channel, please just give us a, uh, a thumbs up for this video, comment below and uh, share it with your friends if they're interested in life in Spain. Thank you for watching.